Hello everyone, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and I'm going to do the walkthrough for our December 6th, 7th, and 8th Modern Design Auction. This sale has about 1,400-1,500 items in it across the three days. Let me do a quick pan of the room and you can see what we have. Uh, bidding on our website, also on Live Auctioneers and on Invaluable. Our website is auctionup.com. Now I'm going to do a walk through the first, uh, well, through all three days. You can see what there is in general, and then I'll walk another time through with uh, more close-ups on each item. So the first day has about 550 lots, and that's where we are now. We're up to about lot 200. In here is about the 300s and the 400s. So you have Lucite and Danish and Chrome and Bentwood. So this is about the 300s. Nice mobiles, smalls great shelves, etc. Down here is the 200 lots. Let me jump around this side. Now we're in this little hallway right here is the 500s. This is where the auction ends on Tuesday, December 6th. By the way, preview is Monday, December 5th. All right, this stuff on the left here is all at the end of day one. There's lot 541 in the back and lot 470s, lot 460s. Etc. Then we come along here for day number two, which starts at lot number 600. That starts kind of in this section here. Here's 660. So here's the 700s. All this art, chandeliers, nice abstracts. Lot 600 is right here. 605, 604. 603. Behind here is the actual first item in the auction. Very nice credenza. Day two. This is Wednesday. We come around here. These are amazing. The amethyst geodes. And the coup de grace is this one right here. It's huge. It's like four feet tall. This one's also very big right here. Very heavy. Hard to move. Let me go around here. This is the rest of day two. The lot 800s. And then we'll continue on and get into the 700s as we do into the lobby here. Some great paintings. Some good woodworker art. These are by George Nakashima for Whittacombe. Very nice with the, uh, the lounge chairs. Finishing up here into the 800s. Day two ends at about lot 1150 or so. But that includes all the items in this section right here. Very cool op art. These are all in the 600s. 700s was in the lobby. We get up back to here to be in the 900s. And then we finish up day one, or day two, I should say, Wednesday, down this right here. Now, people like to bid on our website, uniquesandantiques.com, because the buyer's premium is only 25%, even if you pay with the credit card. On Live Auctioneers and Invaluable, it's 28%. And uh, you can also leave an absentee bid, and we'll bid it for you, if you don't trust the online platforms. These are nine, these are the 900s, 1000s. We go around this way and do the 1100s. Now this is just the, the quick fly through. It's still gonna take me six minutes to just walk the sale. So I'm gonna spend another 15 minutes or so in this video looking at each item a little bit closer. So now let me go into the other room which has the day three, December 8th items. Some amazing items in that auction including Italian, Designers like Gio Ponti and Eco Parisi. This is all day three in here. That starts at lot 1200. Here's lot 1205. So we're very close to the first item. There's the Frank Lloyd Wright little end table. All right, all these items, lot 1200. 
And here's the Gioponte chairs. There's a great Italian bridge lamp. There's an amazing bar with like the uh, brass sides. This is a very cool L-shaped sofa with the Italian feet on it. Continuing on, day three, went to La 1300s. You had the Brazil chairs, you had the reproduction lounge chairs there, some nice leather. Day three is full of modern stylings as well. And then day three ends with group lots that we have on these shelves over here, including Dansk, glassware, pottery, accessories, clocks, lucites, chandeliers, you name it. All right, so now we're going to take a closer look. Day one starts at 10 a.m. It starts with lot number one over here in the corner. And it's this nice credenza in the back. Nice credenza. Well, actually, I don't think it is the credenza. It's this this uh, sofa right here. So we go through here. Lot number three is this nice knoll sofa. Around the corner. Chrome. This is all day one, starting at Tuesday, December 6th at 10 a.m. You're going to want to go to our website, auctionup.com, and sign up for a bidder number. And then you can leave absentee bids ahead of time. You can also bid live during the auction. So good statues, some great lamps. Look at these nice uh, Murano egg. Look at that marble table. Someone asked via email whether this table had a green tint to it. I think our lighting and the fact that it is a little bit yellowed kind of made it look green in the pictures. This nice uh, marble table below it, super nice. Someone asked how much to deliver that to Brooklyn. And we do do... Uh, curbside deliveries about a week after the auction to New York City, Manhattan, Hoboken, Jersey City, Brooklyn, and uh, the prices are pretty reasonable. So once you buy the item, ask for a New York City quote and we'll tell you how much it is. That marble table, again, these are curbside deliveries. We offered to deliver for $3.95, but most of the time the prices are in the $125, $175 range. Some nice Cherner chairs. This is Carl Springer. Nice Carl Springer desk, super like large um, scale to it. These, someone sent us a picture and I picture them as about a, you know, being very small, but they're huge. Horse chop. Coming around the corner here. Let me walk behind this time. There I am, my Uniques and Antiques Best of Philly hoodie on from 2019. It's almost vintage. Moving down this way, some good, that's a, that has a great credenza. It has weird handles on it, but it's a nice credenza on top there. Look at this bench. People are asking about this. Very heavy, steel. We come around this side. Look at that nice cocktail table, glass, on top of the kind of rosewood dining table. You have the Fritz Hansen ant chairs. Some nice uh, Danish end tables and coffee tables. Very nice. Lot 140 is the, um, looks like a roadie, but it's a nice uh, deco. And there's some pair of deco nightstands on top. These are reproduction little tub chairs there. Great pottery lamps. We're up to about lot 130 now. Go on top here. All right, good chrome lamps. Jumping through. 297, this is a pair of these tables stacked on top of each other. Here's one of those uh, mirrors, kind of like Giacometti style. Carl Appel print. Nice wall hangers. There's bunches of pairs of these. They're contemporary, the stem light lamps. They look amazing lit up. They're lit up on our website. There's some good um, 
like Adrian Pearsall table. Look at these, look at the size of this nice rattan shelf. It's like a double wide, maybe like six feet wide. There's one of those wall hanger catch-alls. These are great lamps right here. They light up beautifully, kind of like Pearsall style. These are a nice uh, set of six chairs that look like that. Great teak table, light up mirror. This is one of those um, kind of leather tables, almost like Jaca Annette style. Italian, some good like Brasilia style stuff. All right, digging a little bit closer, good lamps. All right, better speed up my looking a little bit because we're already 11 minutes in and I'm only still in the first half of day one. Some good. These are in lot 1300s, but. That yin and yang type table, Bertoya, Deco. This is like a plastic Modernist fiberglass couch. These these uh, need to be reupholstered. This is just the color of the actual foam rubber. There's a pair of those uh, cowhide chairs, Frankel style. There's a great wall divider right here, like jungle vines, we call it. Sometimes people watch the video so they can see the size. It's sometimes hard to tell the size from our catalog pictures. Down here, some good credenzas. Day one ends with these items right here and they're all nice items all the way through. You have X-Base benches, you have brass tables, you have rattan tables. Look at those marble tops. There's three of them stacked up. Here is a vintage kind of galvanized trash can. And that's about where we end that. Okay, so let's go to day two. These nice Wagner chairs, they're lot 876 in day two. Here's a couple paintings here, nice op art by the artist T. Fisher. Selling those one at a time. Oil paintings on canvas, very cool op art, hard edge. This one is one of the better items in the auction. It is by Moreau. And it's a one of only 30. It's kind of a rare image. I'm not even sure what it is. I'm some kind of skull or something. I don't know what to say about me if I see a skull when I look at that. Here's the uh, number down at the bottom there. It says 29 slash 30. And it's signed here in the corner, Moreau. It's the right size and shape. And so these have bring, brought uh, you know, multiple thousands, four or five, six thousand dollars. We'll see what it brings at the auction. Getting back to the amethyst that we looked at earlier. Look at these. Let me get in here a little bit closer. All the way down. Again, sometimes you see like small bookends, but these are not small bookends. These are amazing. This one right here takes four of us to lift, and that's not an exaggeration. We can lift things, but it's so heavy. Two people, like one pulling and one pushing, they can't budget. You need, to, you need to have two, two pulling and two pushing on a hand truck just to get it, you know, kind of tipped over. Probably weighs 500 pounds, I bet. Not curbside delivery on that one, at least. <laughs> Not without some kind of custom. All right, so here we are. This is the rest. Of, oh, here's some more of the, uh, the minerals. This one's like a kind of a pass-through. This one here, uh, I don't know, some kind of metal crystals. Out in the back there, like a rusty, sparkly thing. All these terms are actual terms. Get that one right there, the crystals, like a quartz or something. Nice pair of chairs right there. What do they say on them? Rob John Gibbing style. All right, back into the lobby again. This is Paul Evans down here on the bottom from the studio. I'm going to walk all the way around it. Very cool. That's Paul Evans. You got the thick glass. Below it, you have Carl Springer. 
It's a Carl Springer table that is signed on each of the legs. These are reproductions of the Serge Roach lamps. And that is not real. It's made out of like a tessellated kind of marble on that on that uh, tusk. Good marble tables. Look at the good brass statues. Now you can come in and preview these items on Monday from 10 to 6. We're here. We also allow you to come in and preview the day of the auction for the next day, not for the current day. And there's no bidding here. We only take bids through our website, through our, through our bidding platforms. So there's no auctioneer calling out numbers. There's no... Uh, there's nobody holding the items up. They all sit right here until you come and pick it up if you're the top bidder. Very cool table. Look at this great screen right here. It's kind of like a, a rose, like Danish uh, teak, I guess. It's got the floral on it, but it's a four panel screen. Very nice. It's got the, um, the starburst veneers. All right, let me continue on. Lots of great art. I'm not going to dig through all of them, but um, you have abstract paintings. That one is amazing. Then behind it, you have a bedroom set. Looks like that. On this level right here, you have good glass. That skier right there with the Saru's dresser with amazing interesting base look at the size side of it 859 here's some more art and there's an, there's a dresser with those triangle handles or diamond handles back here more art we're not going to get too deep on those abstract suffice it to say there's a lot buried in the piles there's the uh Almost like a Rothko looking type painting. Not an original. We sell for more than like the whole neighborhood here would sell for. All right, so now we're coming down here to the front. These Italian chairs are actually on the third day, but we'll put them over here because this is where they fit. But 659, we're moving through here. You have great rosewood tables, you have the sling chairs. Have these handkerchief chairs, there's eight of them. They're by Knoll. We have some more art. And there's some cool art. There's the Jasper Johns. You got the, the, um, hmm, who's that? I can't think of his name. Uh, Rashenberg. Lichtenstein, that's right. And this, uh, Kind of keel, I think. More, there's a Vazzarelli back here. It's signed in the bottom quarter on Victor Vazzarelli. And what do we have here on this one? And more art. Continuing on, the 600s. Now these will throw you off. These look like full-size chairs, but as you can see, they're only like, they're only the size of a Kind of a small child's chair. Coming down here, Mastercraft. These nice little swivel chairs, kind of Milo Bauman, need to be recovered. Like vinyl. Back around here. Continue this direction. Back to the Hans Wegner. All right. Suffice it to say, there's good, uh, on the top here, you have good lounge chairs on top of good kind of interesting bent wood dining cha tables. These are some very cool fabrics. We do have some fabrics in day two at the end of it um, that are good curtain fabrics and upholstery fabrics. Here's another one of these desks, the Lovig ones. Stack of chairs, stack of stools, Haywood Wakefield. High low nightstand, I think it's got a mirror also. All right, so let's go to day number three and we'll take a little closer look at that. There's some very interesting stuff, especially at the beginning of day three. 
including the Gio Ponte chairs. So day three starts over here with lot number 1200. Here's 1212, 1204. And very quickly we get into the Gio Ponte. So these chairs right here are Gio Ponte. They include a letter from the Gio Ponte archives that they think that they are designed and manufactured by Gio Ponte. That's the uh, certificate of authenticity, as you might say. Here's a nice a bar, Italian bar. It comes with a bar stool flipped over there. Now, originally, I'm pretty sure it, come, it also came with this bar back right here. See that one with the mirrors? We're selling that separate, but you can buy them both. This is an amazing bar back here. This we made the cover for the catalog. It's got these hand-painted scenes on the panels right there. Those doors open. And then the base is kind of like, it's kind of like a metal encased wood, but it has the, like a Paul Evans style look to it or a, uh, I can't even describe it. It's very interesting. It's like copper that's been embossed and then applied to the metal. And uh, it's, a, it's a definitely a, definitely a statement piece. So we come down here, some more Brazil chairs, Overman, some art, great little table right here that's kind of like a uh, burled wood table, pretty good condition, little, little fissure going through it right here, and um, other than that, it's in pretty good shape. There's a uh, there's obviously some random scratches to it. There's the base. We come around here for more of the Italian stuff. These chairs were recently redone in the red velvet, lot number 1281, Italian. This is also lot number 1282, a pair of those Italian chairs. And this one right here, very cool. I've never sold one of these, but it's a lot 1286. It's uh, kind of like a heavy brass like platform and then bolted onto the back with these with these like little round bolts is the back and it kind of fans back and it's upholstered very strange like it's kind of like the upholstery is like woven fabric like the the fabric was like kind of balled up and woven back and forth almost like a pot holder very cool italian heavy as anything some more Italian chairs here on the front, sets of them. These were consigned to us by a dealer who, the dealer um, had one of the chairs redone and reupholstered and had then left the rest un, unrefinished, waiting for the customer to pick their fabric and get them rest of the way restored. All right, coming around here. Day three only has about 360 light items in it. A little bit shorter day, but still a long day by, by any stretch of the imagination. Down here we have the great table. You almost have to go through this auction twice to see what's here because there's items that are kind of buried and behind. There's one of those Nelson tables with the Lazy Susan in the middle. Sets of Living room furniture, living room pieces. We do have to put some of the living room items out in storage. So they're pictured. Oh, we have this piano, lot 1446. It's the Steinway. This is one of the better items in the auction. Rings out true. All right, let me come around this back, back way here. There's this Maurice Valenci bed with nightstands. Down here, you have these cage style, I think they're by Noel, maybe Herman Miller. Then we have through here, some of the lots, like in the 1520s. This is an amazing set of Italian pottery. There's kind of an example and uh, Who's the name? Let me look at the name here. Valerie France by Robert Picoult. 
There's a nice like set of 12 of those. And these groupings, the brass, you have the aluminum, teak. Now let me just go through the shelves over here and this will end day number two, day number three, make that. Pick up after this auction will be Friday. And uh, just as a reminder, we're not open on Fridays, but we'll be open the Friday after the auction. We're only open Monday through Thursday as a rule. So if you're planning on picking up after this coming week, make sure you come up Monday through Thursday. We'll be closing for the year on December 16th and reopening January 3rd. So if you pick, if you buy some items, make sure you pick them up in a timely manner. In other words, within a week of the auction or you're not going to be getting them until January. All right, look, there's the Santa. You can have him before Christmas. You don't want to pick him up in January. All right, moving on. One last pan of the room, in case you didn't see everything, which there's no way you could see all 1,500 items in this short video. So the items down here we missed. The items all down here. Look at the catalog. You'll find items you didn't know were here. Oh, this is a great table. Vitra, Noguchi. There's some nice travertine or make that green marble. Here's a pair of these benches. And items in the corner, that's Jane Schnitzer, the blue one. This right here was from Sandy Berman's estate. There's Victor Vazzarelli. This right here, amazing from the uh, Leonard Wasserman estate. That's Kitty City. If you're a local person, you recognize that as the toy store of record between the 70s and the 80s. Where I bought my first bike. That's uh, right out of there at the founder's estate. It was an elevation of the building. And here we are. We'll end it with Enjoy the Passing of Time. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you at the auction. This has been Ken Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. Bye bye.